everybody and welcome. Steve Hess here from Open Bomb. In today's video, I'd like to show you a little preview of a new exciting fusion feature we have, which is to get a part number from Open Bomb for your fusion design. Not just any part number, it's the ability to get the next part number in a sequence and from a specific item master catalog. Let me show you how that works. There's a, uh, there's a new command up here. It's going to generate next part number. And uh, what I've done is I, in my Open Bomb account, I have configured my catalog. In this case, it's my Fusion 360 items catalog. And I've used the part number set up here to configure a range of numbers in a, in a format. So I've done that ahead of time. And you can see now that if I add a new item to this catalog, I get part number 1020, part number 1025. I've set up a, to increment by five in, in my example. So. Okay, here's a, here's a catalog that is dispensing part numbers in the proper order with the proper format that, that I want. So now let's go back to Fusion. Let's take a look at this new command, generate, next, uh, generate part number. So I'm greeted with a new dialog where I can choose from any, any of my uh, Open Bomb catalog uh, item masters, but in this case I'm going to choose uh, Fusion 360. I'm going to click this button here, generate new part number. So I'll, I'll get another dialog. It tells me what's going to happen. It also tells me that a part number exists already. And in this case, it's the uh, component name by default. And it asks me if I want to go ahead and grab the next part number. And I say yes. And it tells me that I'm going to grab the next number of F1030. I already know that to be the next part number. I say go ahead and get that part number. And that's done. So now, if I'm in Fusion, if I open the... Uh, I open the property for this item, I will see that its part number is the next one in the sequence. So that's going to be released, uh, released very soon, and that is get next part number from OpenBomb for Onshape. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.